Greetings to the entire Jackson Public Schools community. I hope you're managing through these very difficult times as best as possible um, and that you're hanging in there. Wanted to share a little bit of our thinking and rationale behind our decision to shift our district to uh, virtual learning and perhaps a little of the anticipated timeline uh, for that shift. First, uh, as you know, we've been listening uh, very carefully and, and um, monitoring information from our city officials and others with regard to the flood event and now the uh, issues and challenges that we're experiencing with the water treatment plant uh, that are resulting in a lack of water pressure across the city. Uh, try as we might, um, we have determined that we simply cannot have our scholars and team members in our buildings at this time. Although you may be experiencing some water pressure in your homes with your faucets or perhaps flushing your toilets, uh, with the magnitude of the, the toilets and restrooms in our buildings and the number of people that would have to use them, we simply do not have the level of uh, water pressure to make it feasible to have individuals in our schools. And so we have uh, shifted to the virtual learning for today and we will continue virtual learning tomorrow, Wednesday, August the 31st. Uh, we'll monitor uh, the situation, continue to listen to and, and see if there's any way that we can bring our scholars back in person, um, but that will be a call that we'll make each day um, in order to give you some notice for the next day. Uh, I know that this is a difficult transition for our scholars and for our families, uh, especially for our youngest scholars. Uh, for whom it's really difficult to, to manage virtual learning. We're mindful of that. Uh, I've been in touch with uh, some of the uh, academic leadership team members and uh, I know that they're working to uh, identify some additional uh, packets and, and other information that our youngest scholars will be able to utilize just to uh, enhance and, and continue their education. Uh, please do continue to be patient with us. We will move our scholars back into our schools as soon as possible, as soon as it is safe and possible. Uh, I want to give a thanks and uh, appreciation to all of our team members, um, as well as to our parents and, and many community members, folks who have uh, done all they can to try to manage through these difficult times. We know that this is not easy, um, and I know that team members have sacrificed and um, have uh, uh, put themselves in, in challenging situations to ensure that we provide for uh, devices and meals and all of those sorts of things. For information about the meals uh, that we, we will be providing over the next few days, um, certainly in the morning and uh, in the afternoon, please do go to our social media site or go to our website uh, for information and for times uh, and schedules uh, for those meals. Uh, lastly, uh, do know that uh, we are working very closely with the city um, for additional resourcing. Uh, should any of our team members or uh, scholars or their families need water, we know that the city and, and others are providing water uh, and some other essentials. Um, should you need that at your homes. Um, again, just wanted to touch base with you, let you know that we're thinking about you um, and to try to give some insights as to where we are and, and uh, how we're monitoring and thinking about this, this um, difficult situation. Thank you, our hearts are with you, hang in there. Hope to see you as soon as possible.